I give way. Does my honourable friend appreciate that the nearest parallel to what's happening now, to what's happening now in this campaign for an election is the 1980s... Order, can I order? Can I order? I'm interested in hearing the honourable gentleman, but I would like him to face the house. Thank you. And well, you were busy talking. <laughs> I was being spoken to by an illustrious member of the opposition whip's office, no less. I put it rather differently, but we'll hear from the honourable member. <laughs> the nearest parallel is the election of 1974, when Ted Heath, the then Prime Minister, decided on a very narrow argument that the miners were on strike and that it would be about who runs the country. And most general elections are about a lot of things. This one was about a specific thing. And can I say to my honourable friend, what happened in effect was that the Labour Party finished up with the largest number of seats and the Queen sent for Ted Heath to uh, try and form a, a coalition with the Liberals and the Liberals ran away. Mr Durkin. Uh, I appreciate the, the Honourable Member for Bolshover's uh, intervention. I would also make the point that uh, if we're going to bring in comparisons with that election in 1974, of course, an unforeseen casualty of that election in 1974 was the Sunningdale Agreement. 